Hello viewers and welcome to the Bunker's first Instrument Tuition collaboration video. I'll be working with Nathan, tracking his guitar playing. While I will be working with Adrian, using power chords. Now for those of you that don't know what a power chord is, a power chord is a chord that consists of the root note and the fifth note. So basically what that is, say if you want to play a G power chord, your first note will be G. And the fifth will be the D on the A string. So if you play both together, you'll have a power chord. Power chords are usually used in a lot of rock songs, like punk, heavy metal, that kind of thing. Um, what I like to do though, when I play power chords, is instead of just having the root and the fifth, I also like putting the octave on as well, just to try and give it a little bit more beef and make it sound a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference, but uh, let's have a listen. We add the octave. reason that the power chord is used a lot more in rock and heavy metal and punk songs is the fact that there's a lot of distortion, a lot of overdrive going on, and it's hard to hear every individual note of an open chord when you're playing with that much distortion, as you'll be able to hear. It's quite uh, fuzzy, so what we'll do to play an E power chord, we'll, play, we'll help with, uh, use the root note, which would be the E on the A string, 7th fret, and the 5th on the next string on the ninth fret, and we'll play that, and that will be your E power chord. Okay, so these are the root notes for the power chords that Nathan's just showed you. It's G, third fret on the E string. It's open E, open string. Or it's seventh fret on the A string, depending on how heavy the song is, you can use either. Tend to use uh, open E for when you want something a little bit more, we could say metal or rock, hard rock. Uh, for something a little lighter, you'd use the seventh fret on the E string. It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to show you the positions for your different power chords. Uh, your finger positions will always stay the same as if you hold the root and the fifth, or if, like me, you want to add the octaves to give it a little extra beef. So we'll start with E that I showed you earlier. Also, when playing your power chords, be careful to only hit the strings that you are holding down. So if you hit every other string, you're going to hear this. That doesn't sound right at all. So that was your E. If you move down two frets, you'll get D. Move down two more frets, you'll get C. Move down one fret, you'll get B. Starting on the 5th fret of the E string, you'll have A. Two more frets down, you'll get G. Two more down, you'll get F. And then back to E. So as Nathan's just showed you these power chords, these little extra ones along the fretboard, I'm going to show you exactly where the root notes are. Now they all correspond with the, uh, the fretboard on the guitar string, as such, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, and then E, open string, or back up to 7th. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, a little, well I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip. While you're jamming with your pals, you can use octaves and fifth notes to sort of improve your improvisation as such. So, uh, so we'll go to say A. The octave is up here, two strings down, two frets along. And you can also use the fifth if you'd like. Uh, if, if it feels like it makes sense, just use it. So uh, the fifth from A is... Seventh fret, as I've shown you previously, and uh, it it all it all corresponds the same with uh, other other power, other notes. So you go for G, A, uh, do do B. For that one, you'll be using the G string, and then go back to A. Okay, for 
those of you who play both bass and guitar, here's a little few tips and tricks. Try and steer away from some of the guitar picking techniques you'd normally use on lead because given that bass has very low frequency, it doesn't amplify well, so you can't usually hear the, the techniques over the top of the lead guitar. So try and keep a nice rolling bass line using like a walking technique with your two, uh, two front fingers. Something like this. Now we're going to use those power chords and we're going to go along with the bass line. So the power chords are A, G, C and D. This is what it's going to sound like. One, two, three, four. This has been the Bunker's first instrument tuition collaboration video on power chords and lead guitar tracking. Now if you haven't seen my previous video, you can find it right here. If you haven't seen my previous video, you can find it up there. And for more information or to book a tuition lesson with us, you can call us on 0191 567 1777 or email us at info at bunkeruk.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers guys.